Welcome dear viewer, I hope you are doing well. This is the second part of a follow-up I'm doing on, an, on a video I did earlier. It's called Hot Chakra Prayer and it's basically a little prayer a reminder on uh, loving kindness towards yourself. So this is about self-compassion, self-care and uh, from there, you know, letting this kindness and love spread to others. Because often we are not that kind and not that loving with ourselves. And if we can't do that, it's hard to be kind and loving with other beings. So I gave this little talk on this hot chakra prayer. And so you know what I'm talking about in case you haven't seen it. I'm always going to read it um, again um, for start. I love and accept myself as I am. I let go of my past, forgive myself and others who have hurt me. I no longer hold crutches and trust the universe is guiding me to the right people I need in my life. I'm open with my feelings in all relationships. I willingly release all fears, concerns and worries about giving and receiving love. I give and receive love through acceptance true healing, acceptance, and compassion that way. Um, that's it. And today we're going to look at the second line, which is, I let go of my past, forgive myself and others who have hurt me. Okay. Let's dive right into it. It says, I let go of my past. Where is it? the past right now what is the past isn't it just a whole bunch of thoughts a construct just as much as future just as much as the present moment I let go of my past how? Just like this? Return to your breathing. Return to your immediate, immediate surroundings. What do you see, feel, hear, smell, touch right now? If you can guide your awareness, your mindfulness, with 100% to this present moment, where's the past? If thoughts and memories don't arise within you, where's the past? Where is the dream about tomorrow if thinking does not control you? If thinking is just theme, like a cloud in the sky, passing by, changing its shape, dissolving, coming out of nowhere, going into nowhere. Isn't our thinking the same? Actually it is, but we don't believe that. We want to believe our thinking. We want it kind of hold on to the past and then we suffer. We hold on to the story that's actually not true right now in the present moment if you completely emerge yourself in the present moment if you as we in sensei don't know just have a mind that's completely open where's the past this is how we let go this is why we are actually always able to let go we just don't do it why I let go of my past, forgive myself and others who have hurt me. Forgive myself and others who have hurt me. The moment you let go of the past, the moment you return to the present moment, that's the moment where you forgive yourself and others who have hurt you. You let the story go because this, 
The suffering is contained within the story that exists in our memory, and it comes back visiting us through our thinking. And we cut the thinking, and we return to the present moment. And just, it's okay, you know. Don't understand this as a way that we try to push away these kind of thoughts. No, they can come, but they can also go. The suffering always happens when we hold on to. Yeah, it's true. That was really bad. That happened to me. Oh my God! Will I ever get over it? No. I need revenge. I want justice. This is so unfair. This kind of thinking gives energy to the story. Can you see this? We put energy into the negative thinking. We make it stronger. You know, most people believe. That this idea of an ego is only a big ego is something that、um, grows through, you know, feeling good and having a lot of pleasure. You know, like really feeling strong. No, it's not true. I don't know who it was. I think Sigi Jung, and、um, I don't know who it was. Some spiritual teacher who talked about this. That. And you can perceive this if you look at yourself, if you look at the world, if you look at human beings. We actually create a lot of our identity about ourselves, about negative pleasure, by feeling unworthy, not good enough. We create an identity that's not true. How in the world? Have we started to believe that as we are is not good enough? That there, you know, that we are not worthy of love and acceptance and of kindness in the world. How have we come as an individual and as societies to believe that? Because this is kind of what we do when we are not able to let go of the past and not able. You know, to forgive ourselves, always trying harder. I have to be better. Do you? Please be kinder, not better. Be kinder and gentler, gentler, gentler. Yeah, <laughs> with yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's what this line is about. So、hmm. there's not much more、uh, to say about this. So this is it. About this line, let go. You know, the, they say in Zen, "Let go or be dragged." I read this recently somewhere, and it's really true. This whole spiritual path boils down to this: letting go, letting go, letting go. I was once was in a car with my teacher, and I asked him. I said, "Sinim, when we are not able to let go, when there's something that we are just not able to let go, then what do we do?" And he didn't even look up from the newspaper he was reading. He just said, "Then you keep holding it," <sighs> which means we have a choice here. There is no trying to let go. You either let go or you don't. And even if you don't, if you are not ready to let go yet, you know, don't beat yourself up about it. Just know, it's possible. It's a mind construct. It's like a habit, a bad habit that we are having, always being stuck and addicted to our thoughts, even to the negative thoughts. We are really addicted to those. Strange. So, if you struggle with that, try this prayer. Try to remind yourself on being kind and gentle with yourself, and you will see. You will start to be kind and gentler with others. It's not that difficult. Just you know, meditate and find some direction in the meditation. Okay. Thank you for listening. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. 
this video and um, if you like to see more and receive news about upcoming videos you may subscribe to my channel which is done by hitting the bell over there and um, thank you very much you know i appreciate it and um, i hope you have a good day bye bye